Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of Bolt Crusader in E4 and in previous episode we took a little bit more land from uh, Muscovy. We basically bought it in half and we are now neighboring Kazakhs. Which actually, how big of an army do they have? Let's see. They have smaller than Muscovy by the looks of it. Well, probably easier to just use the search function, quite frankly. Kazakhs, 9,000 men. And what about system? 8,000. Okay, so technically with one army we might be able to beat them. Alright then, um, do I want to declare war though? I mean, we do have a religious, uh, or the Holy War, which let a the same cost still on everything, but let a, a bit more prestige. Oh, they don't have any allies, so we'd be fighting only Kazakhs. Alright then, um, sure. Yeah, we're gonna leave the rebel suppression for now. You can actually take over these. Not necessarily particularly effective. Uh, you can start trailing troops. I don't need uh, a second army here, I don't think. And we don't have a huge amount of people, although we're getting a lot of people to influence. Almost 18 per year. Court and country, I am the state. Alright then. Let's actually have a quick look. Okay, we don't have the money to build more of those. Have we got on any of the social households yet? Not quite. First one is about a year away. Also, is that? No, there are some provinces there. Now there. Capital is currently seized down by Muscovy. Muscovy might be taking some lands now that we are not fighting them. I don't think it's going to be a huge problem. Although it remains to be seen. We don't actually have a huge amount of power protection. So how about... France? Also, I think there's only one that we can send. Although it's AI, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the previous one was pretty good as well. I mean, that's pretty good as well. Okay, uh, but I'm trying to find the... This one. Your mother was a hamster and your father smells of elderberries. So, Mamluks, Ottomans and Spain is going to like that. Wait, it doesn't give me... Oh, bollocks. I mean, I suppose since we have the truce with them, it doesn't count. Okay, um, what about Ottomans then? Let's wait for the dead moment to return. Oh, we used the same one. Okay. But yeah, Bohemia is not having a great time because Hungary is a beast right now. Do they... Is Austria still... The fighting lunch at Bohemia, they're helping uh, Hungary. Right, so they would be busy if I was to attack Lithuania, but... Portugal, not so much, and Mecklenburg is still the Emperor, oddly enough. So Muscovy is just going through these lands to de-siege the province that they have there. If I can get enough provinces to neighbor, I don't know, um, Oirats or Uzbeks, both, I can then fight them and grab more land. I mean, I don't necessarily need the land there. Like, I'm technically already at the limit, aren't I? I do need these two. But beyond that, I don't need to go, but I want to. It's the Great Eastern Crusade. Oh, they are sitting down those two. Alright then. Well, let's just wait to see what they take. I mean, I'll hold these promises for now. I'm pretty sure that... Wait, oh! oh, oh Timorous jump on the bandwagon as well. Sweden is claiming my lands, that's unfortunate for them. Because they're not gonna get those. Unless they have a coalition of entire Europe, which I'm going to try to avoid. 
Oh, there's the Global Crusade that we'll get once we get the next, uh, or the final reformation. Which allows us to declare... Uh, great Holy War on... Ooh. Hello, okay. Must be took a little bit land there. They still hold that. Oh, the capital is now down in the south. Right, well, we got pretty good siege leader here. I don't think I'll be able to get there before the Timurids do, though. Also, there's a building spy network. Oh, I think we are about to get some of the soldier households. If we recall the diplomat from Dish Martian. I wonder if they. I don't think I can actually ally them because I still don't like them enough. And they don't want to ally me because, right, I'm at war. Mecklenburg wants to go through my land, sure. I don't really care. Alright, keep them going south. They're not sitting down the capital yet. I wonder if I could... Go there as quickly as possible. I think I'll send in the general down that way. Also, we have a decent bit of splendor, but not enough. Oh, a multicultural nation. Five promoted culture. Actually, I could do that. Question is, who should I promote? I suppose Latvia. Um, that would make sense. So do Estonian, to be fair. Get Latvian first. That's going to give us one of those uh, things. Gain some calls, so now we can start converting all of these. Oh god, it's so cheap. Okay, the Timurids are now seizing that, so we'll just take Turkestan before they get there. And the collision against Hungary, can I enter that? No. Juniper and Bohemia. Oh, ho, ho, ho. can I support independence? Oh, they have a true so I can't do that yet. But that is only something that I could do in the future. They got a coalition of Central Germany, essentially, and Tuscany. Hmm. Now that is an option. Especially if they have the coalition war going, I could then declare war on... Well, actually, no. I could declare maybe war on Sweden, then. Uh, they also have Portugal, and they have the Dutch. Although well, Portugal... Well... If I was to declare war on Lithuania now... Portugal would not join. Austria would join. But that would... Deny them the possibility of lowering their war exhaustion. That's a devious plan, but I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna stop drilling with uh, Spike. Do we have enough? Uh, we got a decent bit of leaders, I suppose. I suppose I could send in Rommel, actually, from there over here. But let's see, we got one army. Suppressing rebellions in the east. We got one army suppressing rebellions in Lübeck. I'll give it two months, then I'll declare the war. Right, and we killed off a bit more troops there. Um, how much can I take from this war? That's the next question. And ah, that's a conversion done. But yeah, if I can take land from Lithuania, I need some of their land, and... Yeah, I suppose... Wait, do I have Casus Belli against them? Humiliation, okay, so we need to get... Casus Belli on them. First, so build a spy network. My Casus Belli that allows me to take land, rather than... Nothing. Um, so that's gonna take a while. They are my rival. It should go relatively quick. Kazakhs, are uh, you only going to pay? Nope. Right, let's have a look. If we take this, they don't want to give that. 
I'm guessing because I don't hold any forts. Not too bad. There's only one fort. That's being seized down by the timbers. But technically, yeah, I suppose I could take all the way there. I'm not sure if I want to go further south. I think, uh, not necessarily. It's already a decent bit of that. I guess Muscovy a bit more, but I don't care about Muscovy. Although, I'm, hmm. That, could, that would give me another neighbor. And then Muscovy would be. Oh, Cossacks might join a coalition against me, but yeah. I have a feeling that soon enough I can take out Muscovy relatively quickly. Especially once we get the Diplo. Is it 23 that gives the better. Has his bellies. And that would be useful. But yeah, uh, we need to wait a little bit over here. We do need to get a claim on Lithuania first. I'm going to pull back the troops just so that we're not standing on the border. Now, it does give them time to regain their strength, which I'm not particularly happy about, but there's not many options left for us. Then to wait. Alright, with well, the Kazakhs. No, they still don't want to give me. Well, now it's less about that. I mean, if I don't take those, I'll probably give up soon enough. I mean, if we need be, Timurids might take all that land, and or some of that land, and then I'll seize down the capital again. And then that's probably going to be it for the war, really. Oh, Lubeck and. Oh. Alright, oh, I can annex Saxon Lauenburg soon. Assuming that they're still happy. Uh, they're relatively happy, I suppose. I could influence the nation. Relatively cheap, and it keeps them happy. For the foreseeable future. Mecklenburg is, on the other hand, losing the war against France, but I'm not particularly surprised. Ooh. I want to get the professionalism up, so I'll take that one. Also, I could be the first one to take the admin idea too. Hmm. Now, here's the thing. There's a lot of states that I could uh, finalize here. For example, this one. And perhaps this one? Still got plenty of uh, extra room in our governing capacity, so yeah, I'll just make sure that all of these are states now. That's going to increase our manpower pool quite a bit. It's already 173,000, and it's going to go even higher. Wait, what? Uh, oh, Savoy and Switzerland are fighting. I'm not exactly, exactly surprised by that. Wait, Tura? Where's Tura? Oh, over there. Okay, so there's going to be a rebellion soon. Luckily, we do have an army available. Okay, so we got the conversions done rather swiftly, as you might expect. Waiting a little bit longer to get a claim on Lithuania, and then we'll declare the war. Well, have a look. If we were to declare the war now, neither one of them would join. Oh, they're fighting another war, are they? Oh, did the coalition war fire? I think it did. Oh, yes, it did. Hmm. Now, secondly, I do have a border with them. Do I have anything to... No, I don't have a Casabelli on them, on the other hand. Although... Sweden... Would not get any allies, so now is the time to strike on Sweden. Oh, actually. Let's have a look. The Defender of Faith thingy for all the... I think... Is that all the... Province that I'm neighboring or something. 
and not loyal to the true faith. Call return, liberation. Okay, so I can't actually take provinces with that. With conquest, I can. And cleansing and heresy also allows me to take provinces. Alright then, um, the Swedes have an army there. We have an army here in the north as well. That's alright, and then we have one around here. Right, um, we'll get the armies in position. Actually, oh, I have a cunning plan. I'll try to catch them up in a location where I'll be on top of their army. Actually, I'm going to use Force March to get to Nevar. I might not get there before they do. Okay, what about Novgorod? Now they're going to Ingermanland. Even better. Right, once uh, we are on top of them. Sweden. Caught the army. Oh, they got the defensive terrain there, but it's alright. I think we are still winning. Well, it's... Well, oh, reinforcements arrived. Yeah, we are. Okay, Jewish Bohemia ended. You, where are you going? Breaks Lagen. Let's go to Dallas Kugan and... Send in ships there. Can we walk across... No, we can't walk across there. Once well, so we have the ships, on the other hand... Well, actually... Let us take the transports again. Take the army in here. And land it in... Ooh, actually, Kalmar is not going to be a good option. Or Crusaders, on the other hand, I think will work. Kazakhs, uh, you're not giving me land, so that's not good enough. But I hope to take at least Finland and maybe connect my lands around here. Maybe take a... Oh, actually, let's have a look. What? Hmm, I can't send a peace deal yet. What could I take? The provinces over here are very cheap. That's what I want to get for Finland. I might even give them, like, this area, but I can take that later. The next... If we were to take this area, that would cut them in half, of course. Then I could take that one from Sweden. That would probably be a coalition of half the world. Uh, not really. Not yet, anyway. Um... What about that one? I suppose I could take that one. Would that make the coalition worse? Not in particular. That would give me the mountains entirely. Then I could take their money. Okay, so that is our war goal. Or the end goal of this piece, I think. I can cut them down in size quite a bit. Then I can make Finland a thing. And I can take the land or take Weber from them. Uh, because I need that for the achievement. But then I can give them basically lands around here that I don't need. I'll probably keep the shoreline over there just in case. But Finns can have the inner area there and then I'll make them a march. Right, so we're blockading the. Straight there, so they can't get to the particulars. On the other hand, the particulars can't get anywhere else from there, so that's uh, not necessarily the best. Right, Kazakhs, would you be willing to take the peace deal yet? No? Okay, if I don't take that area, you would be willing to take it. I think we're going to have to settle with that. Uh, would you be willing to give me... You are already giving me war ups. Never mind then. I don't want to be stuck on that war for too long. And then core all the provinces. Oh, we could make Trondelag into a, a state. I suppose I will do that at some point, but not yet. So we've got 40,000 in Sweden. We have 20,000 men moving into Finland. Move some troops into Ubu and Uzbeks and Oirat. I got the Kazabellis. Oirat is fighting Ming. 
I think Ming is doing pretty well in... Oh, that's actually pretty nice Japan there. On the other hand, China does not have any mandate anymore. They lost pretty much all the tributaries. They haven't exploded yet, but they might. Have a quick look at the armies. I have about the same size of army as Ottomans, although they have much higher force limit than I do. My, man, my manpower... Okay, um... 189,000, that's not bad. Zoom in over here. I think I can take Bertil like Over here we will be seizing the... Oh, Perm has a revolt. Uh, we'll have an army that is going to take care of that. Oh, France declared me as a rival. Well, what a surprise. Because the Swedes are still retreating. I'm going to send this army to the north. Oh, right, and if we take that land, that's going to give the agenda. Because we need to own one of those. I mean, we're going to take the entire area, so that's going to solve a lot of problems, I suspect. And we'll be able to get more land soon as well. Nice. Okay, so they're now no longer retreating. Can we catch that army? I don't think we can. Ooh, uh, well, can you get... Mm, yeah, I don't think I need to deploy a rotation guy right now. So Sweden does have armies over there, but... Not a threat. They're already locked in. Let's go in there. And catch them. We'll take a fair bit of casualties in that battle. Well, we might take some casualties there. Destroyed the rebellion in Perm. Excellent. Okay, yeah, we did take a fair bit of casualties, I'd say. A little bit surely we'll siege out uh, Sweden. Now we are blocking them from getting across here with our troops. And I mean, the particular on the other side are doing the same. So if they want to get across over here, they need to go all the way around here, which means that they'll probably lose some men to attrition. Although probably not all that many, but still, it's going to be something. There we go. That's a fair bit of manpower again. Ooh! <laughs> Possibly has expanded quite a bit. 131. Not bad. I mean, we did get a lot of states, didn't we? So that probably count for most of those. Oh, they're retreating all the way to the north. Interesting. But you can go to Nadeke. And ooh, that's being converted. We've got a lot of influence, to be fair. I suppose I could take the reputation from that, and maybe... I'm going to save the rest of the points in case we need stability or something quickly. Which I don't suppose we'll be needing quite yet, but at some point. I don't actually seize down these two in the meanwhile. That four is going to take a while. I suppose I could take the fleet there. Right, we're occupied the province here. We're going to Inare. Although I suppose I could actually use these to blockade that. We have Marshall with his ships to go and... Ooh, that's a lot of galleys to be fair. we will slowly go around here and maybe force them elsewhere. Oh, I'll, all that. That's a bold move. Right, I'm going to send you to housing up, and yeah, we'll be catching that army there. We'll have Lubeck bring in troops, although I'm not sure if they need it. They might be. Brandenburg... Wait, is Brandenburg Catholic? They are! Ooh! I'm alright with that, then. Now, how's the battle here? They have a lot of galleys, still. We've lost a fair bit, actually. Or have we? Possibly. Ah, uh, we sank most of the ships, actually. We captured what I presume is 
a, a lightship and a galley. Lithuanian exile. Ooh. Um, yeah, them hating us is fine. Oh, noble rebellion sprung up right under us. That's unfortunate. But yeah, we should probably send the fleet over there. Unfortunately, we are actually out of time for this episode, so if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, share, if you haven't already, also check out the links down below in the description, but other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.